and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Golgari Crucible. That's right, it's Throwback Thursday on the channel today. And so Throwback Thursdays are where we take rares and mythics. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? We take rares and mythics that are going to be rotating out of standard that didn't see a lot of standard play and, you know, Run them through, you know, build a deck around them, run them through a league before they rotate. And the ones that we're doing today here are Wayward Swordtooth and Crucible of Worlds. I wanted to make a Crucible of Worlds deck, so this is what we got. Um, so yeah, the the so of course Crucible of Worlds is you can play land cards from your graveyard. So we need to get a lot of lands in our graveyard first of all, and then Swordtooth is uh, you can play an additional land on each of your turns. So we can play two lands from the graveyard whenever we have a sword tooth and a crucible in play and they do stack so if we have a, a second sword tooth in play then we can play three lands a turn and so on all right so we need lands in the graveyard so we got elvish reclaimer that can sacrifice a land to go put a land a different land card from our battlefield or sorry <laughs> from our library onto the battlefield tapped so we got the reclaimer to help us out there <clears throat> we have golgari queen they can sacrifice lands. So, you know, like we can just sacrifice a land to draw a card and then replay the land with Crucible Worlds. So that's a neat little interaction there. Of course, Cavalier of Thorns fills our graveyard as well. So those are our cards that, that put some uh, lands in the graveyard. Besides that, um, our lands can kind of help us out too. I'm playing a couple Cryptic Caves, which I think is a really underrated card. I think this is just, this is an under underplayed card right now. And I'm excited to play this one. I think this is going to be a big part of our deck here. So it's pay one, tap, sacrifice it, draw a card. Um, you know, only if you control five or more lands, but that shouldn't be too hard. <clears throat> so, like, you know, we can sacrifice the Cryptic Caves to draw a card and then replay Cryptic Caves and sacrifice again to draw a card. So we can do that every single turn. I think Cryptic Caves with Crucible of Worlds is, is pretty big. Of course, Field of Ruin also. Yeah, we can, we can Field of Ruin our opponent's non-basic land, put our Field of Ruin back into play with Crucible of Worlds, and keep doing this as well. Yeah, Hawkeye's like, I'm taking over. And then I have one Evolving Wilds that we can also uh, use the Evolving Wilds to continue to get basics, put the Evolving Wilds back into play also. So since I do have a lot of different lands, we are going to try some Field of the Deads in here as well because we have Field of the Dead, Field of Ruin, see, 3, 6, 9, 10. So we got 10 different lands. I have one Gain Life land <clears throat> where, like, if we're playing against aggro, we can, you know, we can play it gain our life, you know, we can go get it with Reclaimer, of course, gain a life, then we can sacrifice it to Golgari Queen, put it back into play to gain another life. You know, so we can we can basically make Golgari Queen's plus one make be uh, gain two life. So that's a good little combo. And of course, we got a couple Scry Lands in there also, so we can combo with the Scry Lands. So yeah, we're just trying to get a whole lot of value from our mana base, and uh, that's pretty exciting. So I'm, I'm excited to play this deck. Hopefully we don't play against Two aggressive decks that run us over because our late game with all of the the card advantage that our that just our mana base can provide uh, should really help us out in late games. All right, uh, the other decks that we have for today: Inferno of Power. That's a deck built based around Jaya's Immolating Inferno and Apex of Power. Apex of Power was one that uh, a card that y'all on YouTube were asking about. And then Soltai Contract. We got Liliana's Contract, Arcane Adaptation. For that one so i kind of i paired up the rares and mythics this week and then we have a donation deck to do today also but the other three decks are are our throwback thursday decks all right let's uh here we go let's play through a league with our deck see how we do okay This is, I really like uh, getting value from the lands, like where you don't, you, know, you don't need to like be playing spells for cards that give you advantage, um, and just all the options that the different lands give you, so I'm pretty excited to play this deck here today. So I wouldn't mind drawing another land. Let's lead with Field of the Dead. Um... The problem with leading with Field of Dead here is if we draw like a, a black two mana spell, we won't be able to play it like that. But we don't really need to play that anyway. Let's go. I 
Again, I, I don't want to, I don't really want to take a basic out of my deck right now with the Evolving Wilds, because I wouldn't mind drawing a basic land uh, with us only having the four lands, so I'm going to wait till next turn to thin the deck, because next turn I can go Sword Tooth plus Evolving Wilds. Nope, no dinos today. No Ferocidon today. Hey, Samantha, good afternoon. Okay, so they... Took my sword tooth, unfortunately. Looks like Sultai Control over here. I train every I have just the trick for this. So do I <clears throat> Play Assassin's Trophy, the Narset. I don't think so. Quick yeah, we got so we got rotation in what three weeks from today, the twenty sixth. Three weeks from today, we got rotation. Wow, bunch of counter magic. Not great for me, but we have Field of the Dead, so. You know, if we can get two other separate, different types of lands. We still wait. I have Deckmaster is up. I'm not sure if if Deckmaster is not working too well. Like yesterday, it wasn't. That's unfortunate. All right, so we have also seen. Uh, eh, still just passed. We saw that they kept that card on top with Thought Erasure, so it did increase the value of casting an Assassin's Trophy there, but there really wasn't a, a good target. I need to cap I need to crack cryptic caves on their turn if I'm gonna use it. Because of Narset. Alright, very good. We get to resolve Crucible. I guess getting Cavalier of Thorns in play is more important, though. Because if... Yeah, because this is a...
So many crucibles. Yeah, because my opponent had land for negate. Um... Do they have a third counter spell? Probably not super likely. That's a pretty great, great one to hit with the Kefnet. Yeah, Crucible has an awesome animation. Also. Makes it even cooler. That's not good. Is that the, that's the last Thought Erasure, right? That's like all four of them? Yeah, that's really unfortunate they found the fourth Thought Erasure. Because now if they have a trophy for this Crucible, that's bad for me. winning this race though drawn from drawn from dreams revealed from like kefnet revealing drawn from dreams is certainly the dream Did find a trophy. If I pop Cryptic Caves, then I don't get tokens anymore from Field of the Dead. Even playing like the Temple, I don't get a token. So I think I wait. We're gonna scry one. I do want that card. That's a very good card. My mind needs a rest. All right, now we can draw another card. Your life's about to end. Don't flatter yourself. And now, of course, Vraska can also take up and draw more cards whenever he sacrifice lands. This, I'm telling you, this Cryptic Cave has been good. You know, we've drawn couple, two extra cards off Cryptic Cave so far. Then three cards. At least two. I think just two, but still, just a land, you know, drawn two cards. That's pretty good. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. The past is never forgotten. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. I still don't. The one problem, though, with Cryptic Caves. All stories 
must end. Is, you know, you do sacrifice it, put it in the graveyard, so it's harder to turn on Field of the Dead. I don't have any basics left, do I? know because that one's in there, so no, I don't. So we'll just decline. Okay, well, Vivian, Liliana, Crucible. Probably want to get a Crucible back. Yeah, probably want Crucible back. Hey, Kilo. Ugh, so rude. The ends just means. And Crucible is going to be really good. All right, so Jungle Hollow will give us a couple zombies. But so will Crypt Cryptic Caves. Uh, probably no. There's probably not a replacement for Crucible at rotation. Yeah, we have to make sure that we keep all of like our different number of lands. So, like the next ones to sacrifice would be like Temple and uh, Woodland Cemetery. Heal of the Dead's a hard card to control. And there we go. We see our, our deck just grind out the control deck. Alright, so we get all these duresses now. And all these Veil of Summers. So just adding in just a ton of duress and Veil of Summers certainly helps out. So we get to remove, cast down, Legion's End. Um... I don't know, I kind of want the rest of these. Maybe we don't need four trophy and a contempt. Or maybe contempt's better than trophy. Trophy can destroy lands, though. And if we get, like, uh, Field of Ruin, Crucible Lock, that could be good. I could, I could trim Elvish Reclaimers. But Ultra Claimer does keep him honest. We could trim one and trim a Sword Tooth. Sword Tooth so good, though. All these cards are good. All right, one Sword Tooth out, one Contempt out. We'll just we'll just go Trophy. All right, that looks good. Do a little bit of trimming. <laughs> yeah, that was game one. May be here for a little bit on this Thursday. <laughs> Lands, I'll take it. Where I'm at, I'm at 22. Opponents at 23. We're doing fine. You got four thought erasures over there again. The good, you know, Elvish Reclaimer can get you maybe I should just take Ugin yeah 
Elvish Reclaimer can get you like a Field of Ruin and put it in play to get under on Mordigo. There we go, good. He scryed to the top. Let's fix that. So they have Swamp in Hand Island over here. They want to attack green. Doesn't really matter. Green, black, or green, blue. I guess I guess we'll kind of get rid of blue to hurt the counter magic. Darn, I don't like seeing three basics. I hoping they didn't have this many basics. The moon looks intriguing tonight. I follow the tracks of the wise. Our balance comes. Uh oh. Prepare the gather. Make your captain proud. To the library. All right. Well, they're hitting pretty well here. So are we, though. Come to me. Certainly a chance this is their last, like, that they don't have more basics. I don't get another zombie, because now we have... Okay, so they do have another basic. All right, so they're out of basics now. Um, the previous song, I can check. That's shipping up to Boston by the Dropkick Murphys. I'll switch it back. Yes, I'd like to get a basic land. Thank you. The storied past holds our future. <laughs> this would be a great time to find Crucible of Worlds. Wish Vivian could take up and get Crucible Worlds. Wish Vivian could grab an artifact. The one before that? Alright. Sorry. Wait, alright, going too far back. This one? I've seen things that would break someone. There's like Crucible. Alright. It's my house by PVRAS. Okay. What do we got on top? Another Vivian. We'll just leave you there.
So I, I can just draw that card, you know, so I can draw the Vivian if need be with the caves. My opponent should be, I assume they're casting the Ugin to kill the Vivian, so Vivian does an ultimate, which means they can't on Morty go. Don't want to tap the Crypto Caves now, though. And the wilds are my shield. Man, this deck is sweet. Too many. All right, you got it. Yeah, Reclaimer getting to get any land is really cool. You know, going and finding, like, the Crypto Caves or anything like that. All right, so they're going to go grab the other two Field of the Deads, likely. I only have three Field of the Deads. So I'm guessing they're naming Field of the Dead. Yeah, so they get two, but we still got the one in play with Reclaimer there, so that, that was nice. And we did put a crucible down to the bottom, so we shuffle that back. Darn. Eh. Well, I can just trophy the Ascanta uh, now, and I don't have to minus Vivian, so that's good. You can't stop nature. Just free land destruction. I will take that. I will take free land destruction. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, they are. Yeah, the Field of Deads are kind of our win condition, but um, we need to be able to space out our different lands. You know, like we can't just have, like, you know, because we need seven different lands in play for field to actually trigger, and it's kind of tough if you just have just a whole ton of, like, you know, just a, a bunch of Field of the Deads. And I, I just ended up trimming one to help get spots for other ones. And this deck is sweet. All right, well. If we're playing against the exact same matchup we just played, this hand would be awesome. We would just Field of, field of Ruin them to death <laughs> so like if this is if we're playing against a control deck this hand is awesome but if we're not playing against control deck this is not so awesome we have green field of ruins green yeah i mean i think we keep it like this this is what our hand this is what our deck does yeah this is a keep oh i love seeing temple of malady i like a slow deck Yeah. All right. Love it. Okay. We're doing good. We get Sword Tooth on three. Start getting these lands in play. Problem, of course, they do have the two Risen Reefs. Those things provide a lot of advantage as well. But we'll be able to blow up these Field of the Deads at least. Because they probably have what? Like three basics? Are they scry to the top? Well, that card's leaving.
I'm not sure if my opponent knows how serious I am about Field of, the, Field of Ruin. Yet. I won't show the other field field of ruins yet. All right, so there goes two field of the deads. Yeah, really hope they don't have thought erasure. That'd be bad for me. Wow. Sponge Pedro, that's your fault. <laughs> Saying our opponent has Thought Erasure. And then they do. He had to say it. Well, that's really bad for me. Yeah, that really hurts. Hey, track team. We'll see if that's all their basics. Usually, the Sultai decks, I see three basics, but they have a fourth. But it's also blue as a fourth, so maybe they have like a fifth, like a green, another green or a black. Like they could have one more basic. All right, they're out. Could really use drawing a crucible. Get the thing out of here. Come on. I think you're going to be drawing cards on me? What you doing over here? Need to start getting some different lands. Turn these basics that we went and found into, you know, different lands for Field of the Dead. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, if we draw Crucible of Worlds, this game is over. Crucible of Worlds. All right, well, Vivian's cool. Let no one knows the wilds like I do. All right, we'll take the Jungo Jungle. Let's see. Guess I take this. I can hold up contempt if if need be. Like you know, like an elemental here or something, like a uh. I 
Jungle Hollow is like the better land to get for Field of the Dead, though. Scars are lessons written in skin. All right. Well, I guess I have to contempt Risen Reef. Hey, mode. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit. Uh, what a draw! What a draw step. Right after I force use my contempt, and obviously that gets the fourth field of the dead. And we have our work cut out for us. This looked like it was going really well until that thought erasure on the crucible, and then it hasn't really gone too well since then. There goes another crucible. Opponent drew so well there. I made the one mistake of not playing the Crucible of Field of Ruin the Field of the Dead too early. I like our chances here still for games two and three. I like our chances. Grass was gonna be better than cast down. Don't know if I actually want field or uh, legion's end. I'm going to trim one Reclaimer because of its weakness to Legion's End. Alright, Caesar. Have a good dinner. Okay. Got a good diversity of cards here. Obviously, if my opponent has Legion's End, that's going to be pretty bad for me. So hoping that's not the case.
So we're gonna sacrifice the overgrown tomb, like you know, one of these overgrown tombs, and go get a different named land. Um, could just go grab a field of ruin. Yeah, it's probably best just to have a field of ruin around. Could also grab a temple to scry. I feel like my opponent has Assassin's Trophy. But oh well. We're gonna get that value off Crucible of Worlds there. Yep, and ramp. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, Pajamas. I mean, I think if you go to your subscription um, screen, it may tell you, like, when you were gifted a sub. Being ruthless has its rewards. So I have no lands in the graveyard right now. It's so like... I could get three lands in the graveyard and then kill their Vraska. No, I don't have the mana for that. Never mind. So I think what I'm going to do is get Cryptic Caves in play. Your corpse will make a nice souvenir. We'll again sacrifice Overgrown Tomb and put a different land into play. I helped my opponent found Thought Erasure. Go get Temple. I'll take that one. Pity we couldn't have been allies. All right, all right. So we'll be able to activate Reclaimer here. Won't turn Reclaimer into a 3-4, but... Really hope they only have the two creatures still after this turn where Liliana can make them sacrifice your rock. That would be ideal. But yeah, that, that card had to have been Field of the Dead whenever they kept it twice. So, not ideal. Looks like we're taking Liliana up. Its pain is our gain. Well, could minus this Vraska and kill one and then minus Liliana. Yeah. So if they don't have any, if they don't have like an instant here, looks great for us. 
Doesn't look as great for us now. I was getting bored anyway. No, I can't use you. I need a different land. Guess I should grab the swamp there. Okay. So that's going to kill Vraska. I know I could play Liliana first and then I get to draw cards, but they may also just, they probably just don't make that block. Okay, so they're not even, they're not even wanting to trade anyway. I don't even know if ticking up is good. Like if, the, if they're just planning on Legion's end. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. Hmm. Smelly, but effective. Yeah, I was really hoping they blocked with one of the two twos and traded, but it's definitely hope they did hoping they did that. Ugh. Agent of Treachery is so messed up. Doesn't really matter. I am the master here. All right, so each one of these that dies, I draw a card. Cards. They were a lousy servant. I've learned much. Waste not death is enlightening. So if I'm minus, they probably just get back agent of treachery. Sack Cavalier Thorns and Agent of Treachery. I guess that's a really, really bad trade for me.
So I guess I have to plus. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> so they got, you know, like nine cards over there. This will be a tough turn to stay alive. Yeah, another Agent of Treachery. That card's just so messed up. I really need to get the game won before these Agent of Treacheries came in. That, that game one loss was really unlucky. We're not out of this yet. We want to see Sword Tooths. Like, we're not out of it, but it looks really bad for us. Like, like they may... Toy. I don't know. Can, can we mill them out? Like, they're going to draw, what, like six cards here? Hey, what's up, Fried? Thanks, Deep Fried. Thanks for that resub there. Oh, yeah, they have Nexus, don't they? Yeah, they do, so we can't mill them out. Give me just a, a second to think about how I want to do this turn. Oh, I just drew that other Field of the Dead. I didn't realize that was my draw step for turn. Uh, I was going to go get the other Field of the Dead. I've been thinking about like what I wanted to do here. Well, this is a complete waste. And I can't, I can't afford a complete waste at this point. All right, I'm giving up. It's already going to be really hard. I'm giving up. So my plan was go grab Field of the Dead there and, and then play my Field of Ruin to destroy their, like, one of the Field of the Deads and Assassin's Trophy, the other one. Um, destroy both of theirs and, you know, get the... Um, probably get the Crucible in play, but. Alright, so Agent of Treachery, pretty good against my deck. Man, I thought, I thought for sure that game one we were going to be winning. I really did. Like, early on. And, until the Thought Erasure on Crucible, and then us not really have anything else. And opponent drawing very well. Oh well. What's up, Pip? Maybe this opponent's not playing Agent of Treachery? At least no legions end. That's good.
All right, one field down. One field down. Yeah, like these, the Soul Tie Field of the Dead decks don't have Scape Shift, and so yeah, if you want to play Field of the Dead without Scape Shift, that's the way to go. Basically, what what our two opponents have been playing here. Well, that's fortunate. We can't field next turn because the Reclaimer puts the land into play tapped, but we'll go grab another Field of the Dead. Or I can also just get it out of the graveyard right now. Um, it's probably better to activate twice, though, actually. Unless they're going to Thought Erasure away my Crucible again. That would be bad. So we'll go get Field of Ruin and Field of the Dead. We'll get rid of the Swamp and the Woodland Cemetery since we have a backup Swamp and Woodland Cemetery. That's not a good attack. I should block with both. This should be a double block. They could just use removal. You know, like a one-for-one -one removal spell here. I should be double blocking. Yeah, casualties of war could be fine in the deck. I'm I'm going with like all the six mana planeswalkers instead. Yeah, I'm going with Ugin and Liliana. I think those are more impactful over the long haul. But a like one time you're behind and you want you know remove removal spell right then kind of card. Um, can't go too wrong with casualties of war. Well, that's unfortunate. Now, I guess I got to kill this blast zone. I can't do both. It's either feel the dead or blast zone. I think I have to get rid of the blast zone. First. We need sword tooths, so we can start playing two lands a turn. We have six lands we can be playing right now. All right, time to sacrifice forests. Ugh, gross. Never mind, gotta play Ugin and kill your rock. more time or we need sword tooths to speed us up we have a couple legions end in the deck you know so obviously we draw a legions end that's good i guess they attack us we die though all right they just stacked us <laughs> yeah 
They have a lot of lands over there. Okay, so we're not playing cast down. Okay, yeah, I mean, we, maybe I need four Vela Summers. We saw like against our other opponent, you know, it's just Agent of Treachery. And then, you know, Assassin's Trophy, like those two cards, stopping those is really nice. Maybe we need four Vela Summers in this deck. Probably probably should use that fourth one. Um Yeah, my I was just a little slow here not having like Sword Tooth. Maybe I need to trim on the some of the planeswalkers. Against my previous opponent, the Lilianas didn't look that good. So one Liliana, one Reclaimer. I mean, I should be playing these Noxious Grafts. Definitely need to get, should get like this Contempt and probably the Noxious Grafts. Got to kill Yurok. But, I mean, we have like the four trophies, so it's not like we don't have removal in here. Yeah, I like Trimming of Vraska. I mean, Vraska is about like the the tick up for later on. Yeah, we can we can trim some Vraskas. Yeah, that's what I guess she doesn't minus very well. It's really about the tick up. So yeah, we can we can trim some of those. Well, this time we got all the interaction. Um, it's not great to have these cards right away, because all they're doing is just ramping right away. Probably still keep, though. Let's go grit Swamp out of the deck. Yeah, Esper Mill, Mill uh, felt pretty good. I talked about, like, at the end of the... You know, definitely recommend checking it out on the YouTube channel, but I talked about at the end, like, the the sideboard had... The sideboard was too expensive, uh, curve-wise, especially for how expensive the curve already was in the main deck. But that was really, like, my only complaints about it, but it it did, uh, did a really good job of doing its thing. And... It kind of felt hard to pressure or like it yeah like it you know didn't have like planeswalkers or anything it, it got to blank a lot of cards from the opponent's hand that's i guess that's why i mean not hard to pressure but it blanked a lot of cards from the opponent's hand so like it was a really good game one deck because they would have like all their interaction was basically dead uh, like all the removal they would have Well, all three of our draws have been very bad. Just three lands. Not even good lands. Well, assuming they say Field of the Dead, it will hopefully help us draw spells, take three lands out of the deck. We need some spells. I 
think I need four Veil of Summers. All these matches, like, these matches, like, Veil of Summer just looks like the best card. Have negate. There we go. All right, now maybe we'll draw a crucible and a wayward sword tooth. Well, oh, darn, got a waste of veil of summer on that. I got rid of another three lands. We're not in the worst spot. Replace the five five six with a five five. Where if, if we draw a crucible, we get to start going crazy. Whatever they try to put something back on top, it goes back to the graveyard. Real important to kill Cavalier Thorns at that specific moment. They had to land that they wanted to put on top to grab with Cavalier, though, they would be able to do that. So, of course, they could blast zone to kill the sword tooth. Well, that's just how it is. We got to get rid of this Arch of Araska and not let them draw a lot of cards with it. All right, so they got 37 cards over there. I got 35. 
over here. Really like to draw any planeswalker. Crucible, please. Crucible or a Planeswalker. So I'm down 16 land so far. All right, Crucible or a Planeswalker. Yuck. Or Field of Ruin, of course, to kill Field of the Dead. And do I just kill Risen Reef? Yeah, I think so. Veil's definitely not going to be useless. There is going to be a, a turn. If we win this, we're going to need Veil of Summer for a turn. Field of Ruin. All right, Field of Ruin. That was good, that was good. We're closer to Crucible. One step cl closer to Crucible. Still got three crucibles out of 25 cards. So all we gotta do is draw a crucible. And we're golden. The sooner the better, though. That's for sure. The sooner we get to start destroying lands, the better. And this is why we don't cycle Veil of Summer. Hey HXC, doing good today? Doing good. It's Throwback Thursday, we're playing some really fun decks. Crucible. Okay, well. How this thing go? The wilds are my shield. All right, so one Crucible down to the bottom. So there's two Crucibles left in the 19 cards that we don't know about. But now having double Swordtooth, if we find this Crucible, we're just going to annihilate all those lands over there. Ugh, gross. Sit back. Oh, baby. Here we go. All right, here we go. 
It's on. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Time to machine gun down lands. We're doing it. We are doing it. They just got the three basics. Yep. There we go. All right. Scooped him up. We did it. Got the Crucible Sword Tooth lock. Crucible Sword Tooth Field of Ruin. Blow up all the lands. They they were probably feeling pretty good. They unward ego. Our Field of the Dead, thinking that they got us. But no. Obviously Veil of Summer was vital. We probably need another Veil of Summer in here. I don't know if I've said that yet. We probably do. I want to play a ritual set because of like the the risen reefs are really annoying. No, we'll just get another noxious grasp in here. I'm gonna trim one more reclaimer. It's bad against their legion's end. <laughs> Crucible animation made me realize my place in the universe. All right, this will be a tough one. Again, Agent of Treachery can be a huge problem. Hmm. Slow. But Cavalier of Thorns is good. Maybe we need a mulligan. No, I'll just keep. I'm not too concerned of hitting land drops in our deck. Our deck has millions of lands. Uh, I guess we have to... We have to announce that we have Veil of Summer. I really don't want Thought Razor taking Veil of Summer. So... Although we'll just tell them that we have it. Alright, I'm I'm now more concerned about hitting land drops than I was just a little bit ago. When I said I wasn't concerned. I'm now slightly concerned. I am now concerned. I have 28 lands in here. That's not good. So it's basically basically four coin flips in a row that we lost. Or you know, like that we didn't hit the land drops. It's basically four in a row. I told you I had Veil of Summer earlier. But, all right, here we go. Now we're doing it. My opponent thought that, I like, I was able to click really quickly, like, click the okay really quickly there whenever they targeted the Elvish Reclaimer. So maybe my opponent think that I, maybe I didn't actually have it. Yeah, and so that, so they yeah, so I think my opponent thought that I was bluffing the turn one. Well, 
Well, if you look at cards in hand, they got two over there. We're going to have five. We're losing our best one, which I guess was Cavalier Thorns. Our best one according to an opponent. No, Crucible, Swordtooth, come back. Oh, I don't, I could see, I'm not sure if Vivian was a better choice from their side, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily think that taking the Cavalier was wrong. No one knows the wilds like I do. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna destroy some lands. We don't. Yeah, we don't have very many creatures to sacrifice to Cavalier of Night for its trigger. Like we'd have to like basically have like Field of Ruin going. Or not, sorry, Field of the Dead. Sorry, Field of the Dead going. Every defeat is a new beginning. Mm, that was a great turn for our opponent. Taking out my two expensive planeswalkers very efficiently with four mana. We have Field of the Dead covered <laughs> between three Field of Ruins, a trophy, and the Legion's End. We have that card covered. We don't have to worry too much there. But we don't really have anything else covered right now. Got that covered. I'm still here. Its loss will save. And they just got two one ones. That's not bad. We need to spread these different lands out, though. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six different lands. We need seven. Five different lands. Of 
But like I said earlier, we had the Field of the Deads covered. So that's all four of them in the graveyard now. Ooh. Okay, I can... I can get behind a sword tooth. I guess I should have played that first. But oh well. We got another one, so we're good. Now we gotta just draw that crucible. We got double sword tooth. Where's that crucible at? We have one in the graveyard. There's two more in here. We got, what, 29 cards? So one out of 15. We got like a 6% chance. But we are drawing multiple. I mean, I guess I could just try to... I guess I could get to just ultimate this Golgari Queen if they whiff here and kill them. We're playing 10 different named lands in the deck. Man. We just ultimate Vraska, kill some stuff, kill them. All right. These are some pretty short matches. Pretty good quick ones here. Yeah, Vraska ult. Yeah, didn't get to see the ult, unfortunately. I, I don't think there's any cool animation with it. I've done it before, and I've had opponents do it against me. I've seen it before, and it hasn't really had an animation, but... It's been a little while, so they could have added in an animation for it that I don't know about. Speaking of Rascal Golgari Queen there, though, that's that's a card to really uh, keep your eye out on for a card that could be a lot more valuable after rotation than what is right now. So far we've seen it two incredibly good uh, three-mana Planeswalkers in the new set. The two best cards look like three-mana Planeswalkers. And Golgari Queen can come down and kill three mana Planeswalkers efficiently. Forzov Enforcer. Alright, we'll just get one of these in play. <laughs> Thing does have Death Touch, unfortunately, so I can't really block it, even though my Reclaimer is going to be a 3 4 here. Five and a six mana planeswalker. Reclaimer is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about why these planeswalkers have so much loyalty either. Seems like they have so much. Mm. Let's go with Overgrown Tomb. Yeah. 
wild. You can't stop nature. If I mute them, will it stop like the the flashing part? No. That's only with the new update that they made this a lot faster with like the animation of the hands. Wars off sacrifice. I really like our opponent's deck. It's a fun one. Ow. Ah, strike me and you strike nature. Yeah, you strike nature. What do you feel about that? Meet my newest friend. All right, perfect. So we have trophy up plus reclaimer activation. With so reclaimer can go get a two two. No, my Liliana. But they're just trying to suicide some creatures in to draw cards off Midnight Reaper. I may just kill the Midnight Reaper. I think it was Death Touch. I'm going to just let that happen. I think we probably should kill the Midnight Reaper before blocking that thing. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Sir Nom Nom. Welcome to the channel, Sir Nom Nom. And here we go. Like our our field of the dead plan, as we've seen, is is really just a backup plan, but still been pretty successful. It's just a backup plan. Warrior Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. Oh, I guess maybe I guess I should have killed the Midnight Reaper first before that. <clears throat> Yeah, our our main plan. I mean, that's that's like our our back like the, that's like our secondary thing. If we just make two twos, but our main thing is we you know like crucible, sword tooth, field of ruin, all of our opponents lands away, and get like these planeswalkers to ultimate and stuff. But just all the while, we just make some two twos. So ritual of soot, Vraska's contempt. Definitely all the Veil of Summers again. And I don't want it cast down or Legion's End. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I do like the the tie avatar. The tie badge. Um Maybe I don't play the Ritual of Set. Yeah, we probably don't need a Ritual of Set. What's up, Zerf? Doing good, doing good. Throwback Thursday is always one of my favorite days. We are grinding our opponents down with Golgari Crucible here. And then we have Apex of Power is what we're going we're going next. And then we're going Liliana's contract and arcane adaptation in our last deck today with a 
Naya Hero donation deck in between. Yeah, that is true. So, I think it was the good news. Throwback Thursdays are fun. Bad news, there's only two Throwback Thursdays left. I may have to just continue, like, this this day of the week, like, where we just build, you know, these awesome decks built, or, you know, built around uh, these different cards. Tithe Taker is, is rough for the Veil of Summer. Oh, I guess I didn't even I didn't even play this correctly where I would have had green mana up anyway. So well. I didn't have green mana up here anyway. Um I don't know what let's see. I could do it like Friday. We could do like fun deck Friday. That was Fun Deck Friday sound. So like after... Why do they have to have like this crappy 1-1 one, one and this crappy 2-2? Two, two? Why can't we have them sacrifice the good, the good cards? Your quest is futile. That could be a thing after... Um, after rotation where I just build Fun Decks on Fridays. These creatures are really big. Really hard to deal with. Can we spell it fun with a PH? <laughs> there you go. Induced Amnesia Yurok Mill deck. The other day. That is awesome. That does sound like magnificent jank. If I were you, I'd just surrender my <laughs> rise and shine. All right, this lets me tick up with the Ugin again and lets me go get the Assassin's Trophy. Y'all know I'd rather have the Crucible, but this Doom Whisperer does kind of need to die. They got like Fun Deck Friday or Weird Deck Truth Wednesday. Lies beyond vision. Wacky Wednesday. Ugh. So now, how am I going to deal with the Seraph of the Scales? We have we have two Contempts in here. All right, they kept both cards on top. Does that mean they're going to go get a basic or not? I'll find a use for you later. Janktober. Let's make new comrades. 
Good health is easy to find in war. So at minus, they get to draw a couple of cards and get some 1-1s one -ones and everything, too. But I, I could minus and kill my Assassin's Trophy, or, like, you know, get, get my Assassin's Trophy, draw some cards. Okay, okay. So that can Contempt. I'm not going to sacrifice Seraph, though, right? I don't really want to see them sacrifice Enforcer. Oh, I do love a good death whale. Good. That's what I wanted to see. They were lousy. I've learned much from your death. Yeah, because I'm going to be contempting the Sarah for the scales. I'm I'm using Assassin's Trophy on Liliana. Um So that's four. Alright, if I play this land. If I shock in here, can we go Sword Tooth? No, we're one short from Sword Tooth Contempt. Might as well shock in to hold Veil vale of Summer up, though. How disappointing. If I would have taken the Overgrown Tomb, we could have shocked instead of the Temple. Could have shocked there and been able to play this other Sword Tooth. And still done all that. Why? Why does it matter that I should have tapped Field of Ruin for Vras's Contempt? No. Wow, no attacks? Like a fun new toy. All right, let's just destroy some lands. I assume they got enough basics, but you never know. All right, they do, they do. They passed. Mm. So now Crucible, if we get to find a Crucible with our three land drops, we can keep on replaying this Cryptic Caves and draw a lot of cards a turn. Sonar with the tier one sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for resubbing there. Thanks, Sonar. Those are a couple of good cards for our opponent to have. Alright, start attacking with Enforcer. Make my life harder. We're going to get some 1-1s one here. 
I really wish I would have brought in the Ritual of Soot. You know, I ended up not bringing in Ritual of Soot. Feel kind of bad about that. All right, so we'll draw three. And put this Overgrown Tomb in hand. Whoa, Sonar loser! Sonar gifting out five sub subs as well. Get some hype votes in the chat for our new subscribers. Welcome. So we have Kitty Onyx, CM3, Real Kappa, Real Sorum, or Real Aurum, Serenity, and Crop Deck as well. Okay. So now let's start doing this. Is there like a a sound for playing Cryptic Caves in the graveyard? All right, there's a Field of the Dead finally. Oh, I know, Matthew. I I would love that weather. But I'm different. But yeah, I'd love. I would really love the hot weather. I wish Field of Ruin could hit. Um. Certainly wish Field of Ruin could hit basics. But it cannot. To make sure we don't mill out. We got 23 cards left. Do you need to be worried about that? All right, time to get some Field of the Deads in play. This is the grindiest deck. Hey, what's up, Angel? You hate that weather? So good though. All right, how do we beat these flyers? It's fine. I'm not gonna sack cryptic caves this turn. This isn't your average zombie horde. Impressive, isn't it? A life for a life. All right, well, we got enough lands to go around. I trade Swordtooth for Seraph.
Maybe I'm supposed to make that trade, Sword Tooth for Seraph. Sword Tooth's so cool, though. I like playing lots of lands. No, I'm not going to do it. All right. Got there. The best part about this deck is how fast it wins games. It is blazing fast. We are we are getting through this league like no other. Like we are 3 and 1 and it's only been 2 hours so far. For our four matches. Very fast league. If you want a really quick rank up deck, here you go. Get in, get out. It's been a breezy couple hours for these four matches. <laughs> just, just gone right by. But, you know, we're, if we go 5-1, sounds like we may have another hour in here. Go 5-1. Yeah, Casualties of War is a fun card for sure. Um, I have a donation deck that I'm playing tomorrow, a Golgari donation deck that has Casualties of War in it. That's certainly more set up for that card than this deck is. These lands, these are the Ravnica ones. Cool land choice. Cool land choice. More vanguards. Two vanguards. Zero vanguards. Mm, I don't like that cast down over there. Killing my sword tooth. Gotta play it though so we can ramp. You know, we're basically turning sword tooth into a boreal grazer <laughs> there. But now we just need to draw a land and then we get our six drops. Yeah, just gotta draw a land here. Okay, well. Next best thing to drawing a land is probably a Cavalier of Thorns. Mm. Playing some Monitor over the weekend. Got to Rock Courser of Crew Fix. That is awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I want that card back in Standard. Okay, and that card was so much fun. That's the card that this deck right here is missing. For sure. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. Yeah, this works. So we go that. Go field of ruin. Get rid of this Adanto, the first fort. It's, it's an enchantment creature. So yeah, it's both an enchantment and a creature. So basically it's a creature that also dies to enchantment removal. So really that's all that means. It's a creature that dies to enchantment removal.
they got another basic over there. They have too many basics. I don't get to Field of Ruin. So I think I'd rather have... I, I need Ugin to be able to minus and kill this Vona. The undead make great minions. Loyal. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> well, they may just draw four with champion. Kind of expect Vona first. If you want to be able to untap with Vona, yeah. Makes sense. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. My plans do not include you. <laughs> All right. Good help is easy to find in war. I mean, they. I guess they didn't want to. I mean, like, all they had to do. Like, play champion there, that's their ninth permanent. All they have to do is draw a land in those five cards. They play the land, then the 2-1 gains flying, and then the 2-1 kills Ugin. And can pressure Liliana also. But we'll take it. All right, some more Legion's Ends. That card looked pretty good. Probably want Contempt. Um, yeah, probably want Ritual Soot. Maybe these Veil of Summers, like always. Like two Veil of Summers. Like two. Let's see. There's just too many good cards now. So we have to, if we're bringing in all this removal, we have to trim on other stuff. I mean, I guess, I guess Elvish Reclaimer, but Elvish Reclaimer is pretty good. Maybe a Vivian Reed. I, mean, I guess one, the one. One Vivian, one Crucible, and then just the Reclaimers. Reclaimers can block, though. Sword Tooth doesn't really block. All right, I'm going to just trim two of each. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about that Kosorg, about the Vault of Progress being shown or not. I, I don't know. Twenty-eight lands, and you're telling me there's zero in our hand. Really like how Golgari Queen kills Soren. Like all four of these are are useful against different things. I guess I get rid of ta cast down, even though cast down's my removal spell for the four and five mana vampires. I think it's either I have to get rid of that or or Golgari Queen. Maybe it's maybe I'm being too. Greedy, keeping Golgari Queen to kill Soren. Saving Legion's End for Adanto Vanguard. Knight, we have covered. Well, this is working out. Not working as well anymore. Admittedly, not working as well anymore. Picked a fight with an 
ancient vampire look. Welcome to the family. Hmm. Just gonna use my mana a little better here. You won't see the end coming until it's too late. Got the first Orn out of here. If I would have had cast down instead of Raska, we would have been able to Legion's End cast down that turn. But obviously we would have cast down this Knight earlier, if that was the case. Yeah, is Deckmaster working for other people? Because I have it set up like the same as, as always. Did, like, Brawl mess it up or something? Like, is it working for, for other people in other streams? Like, is it just me? Okay, okay, it's, it's not working on all the streams you've tried it? Okay. Well, I'm... Sorry to hear that, but also I'm... Relieved it's not just my, my stream. Yeah, I mean, I've... So there's there's a new setting I have to enable. All right, I'll look, I'll look for something to enable. I don't know, it says it's active. I don't know. Looks looks like it's like everything's good. All right, what do we got over here? A couple legions landing in a devout decree. I'll just cast this thing. I have the one field of ruin in the grave. Yeah, the one field of ruin in the graveyard right now. But we're we're fighting here on our mold of five. Hmm. Kinda wish I would have waited a turn. Then I'll take those things out too. Yeah, I probably should have waited a turn. Just play the crucible. I know, right? We do need more strip mine. All right, Cavalier is good. That was good. Oh, I already have a wilderness cemetery, and a forest, and a field of ruin. Hmm. Don't get that seventh land.
There we go. Reclaimer is good. That'll give me my seven, that seventh land. So I do, do I use one of these removal spells to save three life? And said removal spell is, would be trophy. I'd save three life if I trophy here. Probably not. I'll just take it. All right, just playing delay game, getting the Field of Ruin back in play so that we have six different lands. And now we'll sack one of these forests and go get... All right, well, that's more annoying. That card's always annoying. Gotta save a trophy for a Soren. Are they at end step? No. All right, let's go get, is it Cryptic Caves? Is that the name of the land? Sacrifice this. There we go. Besides our deck taking a really long time, it is really cool. Getting so much use out of all these lands. Glad we kept removal for that thing. Hey, SC, I'm doing very good. Doing very good.
Hope you're doing good as well. We are taking... We are getting some, some good Elvish Reclaimer use here. Look at that. Mold of five. Mold to five. Come back. Grind down vampires. Victory. All right, we are four and one. We got our final boss match here. This deck is a work of art. Work of art? Piece of art. There we go. All right, final boss playlist. This deck's a piece of art. GG's. Hey, JMC. My final boss emotes. Here we go. GG's. Thanks, JMC. It's not work of art, right? Piece of art? I know, right? We're at the final boss in just two and a half hours. It's such a fast deck. Thanks, Poppy. Work of art. Okay, it is work of art. Opponents like Swamp Field the Dead. What am I going to do? I could do anything. I have seven cards over here. Who knows what I could do? I wish you could just have this up all the time. If you know, like, if you like, click it a certain way, it was just always up. Or if that's a is that a new gameplay setting? I don't think so. Bono just disconnected, I guess. Swordtooth does ramp into the, you know, turn three Swordtooth ramps you into turn four with six drops. If Swordtooth survives. Yeah, this is a lame final boss. The state of the current metagame. We haven't, at least I haven't really seen people trying, I mean, it's only day two of Ferocidon, but I haven't really seen people playing Ferocidon yet. I've, I've had zero opponents play Ferocidon so far. Um, you know, none of them did yesterday, but. So it, nothing's really changed with the Ferocidon banning right, like, this second. At least, not too much that I've seen. Yeah, it looks like opponent got DC'd. Yeah, that's that's probably what it is. There's three weeks remaining before rotation, and if people didn't have it in their collection, they're not crafting it. That that would make a lot of sense. Well, this hand was cool. Like we had turn four Ugin. It's like even if our opponent was playing, would have had turn four Ugin. They could have you know destroyed that reclamation or something. That would you know would have been good. Yeah, I think Ferocidon is going to be a good historic card because I think Mono Red is a is a historic deck. Like I think that will be one of the historic decks, and Ferocidon 
will be good there. Yeah, real disappointing final boss. They probably... Well, we can just go to our victory fanfare. You know, they probably queued up a league hoping to play, but then connection problems. Oh, well. Um, hopefully, like, with that match, hopefully our our deck wasn't uh, too fast. You know, hopefully you got to see enough of the deck. You know, ho hopefully you got enough gameplay, even with that final boss here. But yeah, I really liked Golgari Crucible here. This deck is j just uh, a really fun deck in my opinion. You know, I really liked, um, like, I just like um, manipulating the mana base. And, you know, I really like sacrificing lands to go get other lands and put them into play and play your lands from your graveyard. And, you know, just like game objects moving around, like, like the objects moving around the game zones. It's a lot of fun. And so while this deck took a long time to win, it did a very good job of grinding out opponents. And I really liked it. So I would, if I was playing this again, I would definitely play this fourth Veil of Summer. The problem with playing the fourth Veil of Summer is I don't really know what to cut. I guess it's probably Elder Spell. Yeah, I would cut the Elder Spell. Like we already have Planeswalker removal with Ugin. We have Planeswalker removal for the little ones with Vraska. We have all these trophies that kill them. You know, against like Esper, we have the Noxious Grasps. I would get rid of that Elder Spell, and for that fourth Veil of Summer, a card that we talked about would, would have been was uh, really important there. All right, so that's Golgari Crucible. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck. It was a lot of fun, and if so, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, if you like these Throwback Thursday decks where we build around these awesome cards that are rotating out, like Crucible of Worlds and Wayward Swordtooth here. Uh, don't forget to check out the playlist over there on YouTube with all the other videos, um, the Throwback Thursday playlist with all the other ones, because we've had a lot of really good decks here. Um, and then also in the comments, uh, you know, let me know what you thought about this deck, but then also let me know what you, what uh, rares and mythics that are rotating out that you want me to build around. Um, you know, like last time people were asking for Apex of Power, so that's going to be the next deck that we were playing. So let me know what you want, and I'll uh, see if I can build around it. But thanks for watching Golgari Crucible, and I'll see you for the next video.